Yes, we're back. We're back again in Train Sim. We're back again for some more fun. This time, not in a DMU. We're in an EMU. And a journey I haven't done before. Chatham, Maine and Medway Valley lines. A bit of a mouthful. Uh, Tombridge to Strood. And it's a 55 minute run. We're going to end up at least 10 minutes late at the end of it, I reckon. Grab that guidebook to Chatham, Maine and Medway Valley line routes. And let's go. So yeah, hi there, Steve here, and welcome back to Train Sim. That's proper good old trains there, good old Train Sim. Um, and yes, so back in Train Sim we are, uh, which is uh, returning to the channel slowly. Uh, once a fortnight, we're putting out a uh, Train Sim video on a Tuesday. Uh, on the opposite Thursday, yeah, it's confusing, um, is going to be something from Flight, once a fortnight. And uh, normal regular content on a weekly basis, something on a Monday from OMSI, if it works, uh, something on a Wednesday from a tourist bus, uh, a Friday from firm bus. Uh, currently as a series, which will be ending soon, uh, is ETS2 on a Saturday and uh, very occasionally uh, something on random Sunday as well. Uh, so plenty of content from me. Please do hit subscribe if you haven't done already. So yes, uh, this is a, a Twitch stream that's going out on YouTube. Don't forget, if you are watching this on YouTube, uh, you can follow me on Twitch. If I remember, I'll put the link in the description below. And, uh, oh, yay. Scenario failed to load. I'm definitely having one of those um, evenings this evening. Whereas uh, I'm re uh, recording this on a... Okay. Uh, good morning, driver. Welcome to the Medway Valley line. You are now at the controls. It's class 375. And we charge our passenger service from Tombridge to Strood, making several stops on the way. Please allow passengers to board here before departing. Uh, yeah, eventful is the uh, the way to describe my uh, evening so far. And the uh, the platform hasn't loaded. It's definitely going well. So we've got. Ah, so I do remember last time we did something in this that someone that before um, that there is an issue with only this station, I think, from memory. Um, that's quite an amusing screenshot, actually. Let's get rid of that gubbins. <laughs> that is quite an amusing screenshot. Yeah, I remember someone saying that there is an issue with this station. I'm hoping that's correct and not that every station we're going to go to has uh, got the platforms missing. Uh, yes, OMSI wouldn't recognise my G27. And the, I think the only way I would actually get it to recognise a G27 would be to restart the PC. And uh, yeah, I wasn't going to do that. Okay. So off we go. Now, I don't normally like um, these trains that have got the, the bit here. Because um, you're only looking out of a little tiny letterbox. Uh, I can't remember what line it was called. Medway Valley or something. And we're going to a, a, a place. How will I steer the train? Yeah, the G27's not working. 
it was working absolutely fine in tourist bus and then uh, not working we're going to Strood S-T-R-O-O-D it was working fine in tourist bus and OMSU decided no the G27's in I can see it's in but I'm not going to be allowing you to use it in the game today thank you Right, so we need an EMU anyway. And not inside EMU because, you know, that's uh, all kinds of wrong. Um, so I'm not normally a fan of uh, electrics. Strood is not far from you. Awesome. I was thought he's up in Scotland. Right, tunnel incoming. Well, they just bridges. I think they just bridges. So yes, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, I re streamed this on whatever day it is today, Friday the nineteenth, and uh, in the two hours since I started streaming, um, this is my third different stream. A stream tourist bus that went out on the video uh, last week. I attempted to stream OMSI, failed, and ended up streaming this. Meet you at Costa in an hour. Well, this journey is going to take about 55 minutes. So I was planning on streaming uh, Train Sim on uh, Saturday afternoon. Uh, but now it turns out I haven't got to do that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard this Sims and Stuff. Sims and Stud, I say. Uh, Medway Valley Service to Strood. Please take a minute of your time to check out the next of Kin card where you'll kindly fill out your bank details, credit card numbers and phone numbers and your favourite hotel in Swinton. Yeah, thank you, Liam. He didn't put a bing bong. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the Sims and Stuff Medway Valley Service to Strood. Oh, I could do a thing, couldn't I? Hang on. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Oh, that's a thing. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome aboard this... Oh, crap. Perhaps I won't do that. Hang on. I'll turn that off. <laughs> because that's only going to end badly. Yeah, trying to do an announcement on the fly. Not good. Where's the buffet service and the Ferrero Rochers? Oh, we got a flashing yellow... And a 40 mile an hour limit coming up. Breaking too early. Of course, Larwood. Simpson stud, yeah. It wouldn't be me if I didn't break about three miles too early. Oh, that went on mono. That's better. All right, single yellow. The next one could be red. See, half a mile too early. That would be Steve and me. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I'm the Sims. You're... Uh, I think the order that Chaos wrote them is the order he was determining was correct. 
because we've got no platform. This is definitely going to be an interesting journey where the platforms aren't working. We've got we've got no platform. What is that noise? It sounds like a forklift. I think Omzi broke my PC. Well, it did come up with an error when I started the journey, so it was something was missing. I think it was all the stations. Yeah, it's a forklift. It sounded like a forklift. Having spent many an hour of my life on a forklift. Hang on. Big bong. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the aliens from Area 51 have stole the platforms on this line. Please do mind the large gap between the platform and the train and watch out for the aliens. Bing bong. Public service announcement at its best. Right, belt ring. Other types of ring are available. Uh, platform 2 coming up in 1.46 miles. I don't know why this la lane, line, track, plane, I don't know, train, line thing is broken. But it did say when I started it there were errors. It's got issues. You have to do that for every station. You realise how complicated it is to do that, Liam? I'm trying to stream. I have to pause track IR, look to my right, find the button that turns on and off the, the thing. Do the thing, put that back off again, unpause track IR whilst trying to drive a train. It's not easy. This streaming malarkey is very taxing. It's supposed to be relaxing. It's supposed to be having a relaxing Friday night. It's been a very stressful couple of hours. Right, Anoy Larwood and uh, slow down about half a mile too early. Train looks nice though. The scenery looks great. And I you know, approve of the length of line that we've got. It's just that the platforms aren't there. We're a platformless uh, train line. Which makes it very difficult to see when you're actually at the station when there's no platforms visible. Unless they will be for this one. We'll see what happens up here. Will we get a visible platform? I'm sure. Is this one of the lines that we stitched together to do the the Brighton to Bedford? So I'm sure one of those had issues. Oh, see, here's the here's the platform. So I'm actually stopped pretty well, I'd say, and almost on time on the platform. See, she looks fine there because the little platform bits here. Bit of a leap <laughs> to the train. Oh, this isn't the one that was a stitched together one. Okay. 
but it's just that there are there are no platforms mind the gap between the train and the platform just in case there's any doubt right yording platform 2 in 1.6 miles so will any of the platforms work do you reckon or are they going to all be broken and I'm sure these place names are made up or a little fan quite like in a train it actually doesn't sound too bad for being an EMU either it's sounding okay they're all going to be broken you reckon it's just a normal step for you. Yeah, it's not a big step. Ladies and gentlemen, the next station stop is Yording. Yording is the next station stop. Bong. So we'll accelerate. And then uh, break ridiculously early because it's a thing. Oh, whistle. That would give you enough time to clear the track. I was like 20 feet away from the crossing. Oh, another whistle. It's not a very good horn either, is it? I like the way it looks though. Breaking too early. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a thing that happened. Fig and prune. So you get all the yogurts. You want a bit of a health kick, Lee, am I? It's not very horny. No. Oh, God, I'm doing a speedy thing now. See, I was conscious of not braking too early and then get done for speeding. Since when was yogurt healthy? Well, it's healthier than eating other things that aren't yogurt. It's very hard to judge where you are on a platform when you can't see the platform. And the driver's far too smiley. No one should be that happy, especially when they're at work. Quite nice hearing the birds twittering though. Right. What the hell's that place? Watering Bury. Now these are made up place names now, surely. He's one of the aliens in disguise. Oh, you reckon he's sent to infiltrate? If you're an alien coming down to infiltrate the planet, would you disguise yourself as a train driver?
you got a third ra <laughs> Sorry, I, I started speaking then before I realised what I was saying. We've got a third rail here. What's that for? And then realised I was in an electric train. <laughs> you disguise yourself as a train spotter. So a jam sandwich in your pocket, a notebook in the other pocket, and wearing a, a Mac. I'll go do some research on watering Bree. I'm sure it's not a place. How many JDs have you had? Who, Liam? I'm on uh, orange squash. I know. I'm so rock and roll. JD Salingers. Yeah, I couldn't think of any other JD. Apart from John Deere. You're on Cheetos and pineapple soda. Pineapple soda sounds quite nice. Yeah. Robinson's uh, orange squash I'm on. Other orange squashes are available. Unless Robinson's want to give me a sponsorship deal. This stream brought to you by Robinson's orange squash. Well, that's dangerous. You just drive across the crossing just when the train's coming. Watering Bree is a village near the town of Maidstone in Kent. The Watering Bree stream flows into the river Medway just above Bow Bridge. Uh, it formerly powered three wart mills in the village, one of which survives. The Waterbury Railway Station is on the Medway Valley Line, which is the line we're doing. Having a train station on a railway line is quite convenient. Such as Sainsbury's Basic Orange Squash. God, no, you have to put like a whole bottle of that to a dash of water to get it to taste orangey. No, I go Robinson's Double Concentrate. So you've got to concentrate twice as hard when you make it. Oh, look, it's a river. Da, 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 da. It's very rivery. No, wrong button. That one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard this uh, train service going to a place I can't remember. Uh, to your right is a river. It powered some water mills and it's in the town, near the town village. It's a place called Watering Bree. Um, this here ends the public safety information, tourist information announcement. Uh, thank you very much for travelling with uh, whatever train company this is. Uses, yeah, this uses information brought to you by Wikipedia. For all your Pedia... Hang on, that sounds wrong. No, I'm going to stop there. East Farley. East Farley is next. Sounds like where they make the rusks. Oh, Farley's rusks. Oh, I love Farley's rusks. You know when you've been tangoed. They had to stop that, didn't they? Because people going up slapping people. It's like happy slapping and stuff.
Pong. Filey? No, Farley. That's Nick Scarborough. Oh, there's some double horny going on there. So every platform's going to be broken on the whole journey. I know my audio is working correctly now. Right, 1.2 miles to go to East Farley. Uh, not where the rusts come from because it's built differently. Bong. A picturesque line. It's quite clever. Don't you do that? Now the um, the the, um, the third rail switches from one side to the other side. So there must be um, shoes on either side of the train. Pick up that power. I wonder if you can put a wire down there and charge your iPhone while you're driving. Government. Oh, that went wrong. Well, the government went wrong. Still running by the side of the river. If it turned this into a ferry service, could have had a high speed ferry going up and down the river. Probably not as convenient. Slightly tough in the winter, although, you know, a lot of trains in the, in Britain don't run in the winter because of leaves on the line and iced up points and. I slowed down way, way, way too early, even for me. I was meant to be for information there, you just put government instead. Is that just a one word statement? Government. That's it. And that was the information. There's a West Farley or North Farley or a South Farley. Oh, East Farley is a village and a civil parish in the local government district of Maidstone, Kent, England. The village is located on the south side of the River Medway, about two miles upstream from the town of Maidstone. Well, there we go. Public information at its best. Thank you, Liam. I don't, oh, on, oh crap, that's the bloody platform. That we can't see. We've got invisible platforms. That's a long way down. She's quite clever standing up there. Matu, hello. Can you hire me as a tour guide? As long as it's a, uh, a voluntary position. How are we doing on time anyway? We're, what, three minutes late? That's because of my slowing down about three miles too early back then. Right, where's next? East Farley. Uh, Maidstone. Maidstone West. 
and then Maidstone Barracks. Could we play someday? Play what someday? Right, off to Maidstone we go. Oh, hang on, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please remember that when boarding and disembarking the train, you will be required to have your own stepladder. Uh, look out for that first one. It's a doozy. Right, Mage Sun. See these? Again, I keep saying this every time I do these train sim things. Uh, WTS2, yes. Um, that uh, some of these stations are like a mile and a half apart. Surely, the people that... If you've got three stations a mile and a half apart, the one in the middle doesn't really need to be there. Because if you're in the middle, you can walk a mile and a half or drive a mile and a half to one of the ones on the left and right of you. Although I know it doesn't work in London and the subways and stuff because it's you know, congestion. Yeah, unless you're from... Oh, on six foot eight. Well, I'm six foot two. And it'd be a bit of a step for me. Right, Maid's done. He's coming up in one point three miles. I think it's certainly better having the third rail compared to overhead lines. I think um, the the line running through Swindon has been electrified now um, and it looks like an absolute monstrosity when you're driving alongside it or going over it um, when it gets under some of the bridges. It just looks horrendous. Um, I think having the third rail from a, um, a aesthetics point of view um, then I just think that the third rail looks better. Uh, it's fine, Matu. Um, but whether the third rail's not as efficient, because it is just relying on like a shoe, isn't it? Just making contact with the, the rail. So I imagine that's got to put a lot of downward pressure. And there must be several of them. I doubt, I doubt if there's just one that conducts electricity. Whereas obviously the, the pantograph pushing up must be more effective. And probably easier from a maintenance point of view as well just to replace wires rather than this large area. There's actually a gap there between those. And Look how close these lines are together. These uh, stations are together. Maidstone West and Maidstone Barracks. You know, think it's Barracks. They're in the army. Surely they can frog march between one and the other. Exercise and all that. Yeah, you've already done that one, Liam. We're in Maidstone now. Yeah, as a tour guide, you're doing well, aren't you? Passengers be going, hang on, and we just heard this. We've just been through there. I'm, uh... Minus 139 points. Not going to get those back, are we? Um... Maidstone is the last... A large historically really uh, historically important town in Kent England uh, which is in the county town it lies 32 miles east southeast of London the River Medway runs through the center of the town linking it with Rochester and the Thames estuary historically the civil uh, the river carried as much of the town's trade as the center of the agricultural county of Tent 
Kent? Kent, known as the Garden of England. Kent is known as the Garden of England. Don't know what Wiltshire is, then. Ladies and gentlemen, the next station stop is Maidstone Barracks. If you're in, in the army, then you should have got off at the last stop and walked, you lazy bugger. Yeah, half a mile to Maidstone Barracks. Oh, I'm speeding again. Oh, we've definitely got all kinds of broken going on here, look. Floating transit van up there. Yeah, Matu, I'm sort of streaming at the moment. Um, oh, it's point is accelerating. We've got a 70 mile an hour speed limit coming up. Um... And then a stop in 0.28 of a mile. I'm not really going to accelerate up to 70. There's no paths or roads in Maidstone. Oh, I see. There's no way of getting from Maidstone to the barracks. Is that what you're saying? The only way is by train. Is it like sort of fenced off or something? And you can't get in and out of the barracks unless you're on a train. Oh, there's nice flats here. Again, why... Why would you want to live in a flat that overlooks the railway? Sitting there in the evening, windows open, nice hot day. Um, maybe sat out on the balcony. Hello, we've got a platform. Uh, maybe sat out on the balcony um, and a train comes trundling in. I couldn't live in a flat. People do, obviously, because otherwise they wouldn't exist. Right, we've got our first platform of the journey. Maidstone Barracks. Ah, perhaps the, the um, soldiers built the platform. They were fed up of leaping from the depths onto the train that they built the platform. Because they're in the army, that's what they do. Yeah, some quite nice looking flats. I like the idea of a flat. Everything, everything on one level appeals. Timeless penalty. Minus 632 points. We are doing well. Right. Aylesford. I dug up the trenches and made the platforms. Uh, it's quite nice with the birds twittering. quite liking the train. It's a shame bits of the map are broken. The train itself isn't bad. Your cousin lives at who? Give her a wave as you go past. Was having a conversation about the Who today? Uh, LTZ Suburban. Good after evening. Uh, Aylesford is a village and civil parish on the River Medway in Kent, four miles northwest of Maidstone in England. Originally a small riverside settlement, the old village comprises of around sixty houses, many of which were formerly shops. What's the point of having a village that's mostly shops? Who's going to buy stuff? 
yes anyway there's a uh, mongolian rock group that i'm quite liking called the who h u yes and mongolian rock is a thing um uh, but obviously they've got the same name as the group the who and now you just said there's a place called who so it'd be awesome if the who came to who for a tour you know exactly where i am are you watching is my webcam on Your contract's ended now. Who? Exactly. I did post the song in um, the Discord by the group called The Who, The H U. And it's one of those songs that sticks in your head. I will be playing it on tomorrow night's trucking stream. There's a bit of a segue. And not the two wheeled thing that you can't fall off of. So yeah, if you're watching this, uh, tomorrow night obviously is the uh, the fun stream of the week. Uh, Saturday night, ETS2 multiplayer trucking and tunes. Uh, 6.30pm for a couple of hours of uh, music and uh, madness normally. We had uh, eight or nine of us um, in the convoy last week, which is fantastic. So there's the who, the who and the place who. Yes. And isn't the English language wonderful? It's who. It is, because it's a place. And the who should be H-U, and the who should be... That's a lot of who's. So, yeah, so I only got introduced to the who, H-U, um, last week at work. Uh, 6 30 p.m. Doctor Who met the Who in a place called Who. Ah, there's Doctor Who. Oh, God. Doctor Who went to see the Who, who were a warm up group for the Who, and they were playing in Who. The Who were warming up for the Who in Who, and Doctor Who was present. Uh, yes. Right, I broke really, really early for that station. <laughs> Who cares, yeah. All Hallows is nearby, famous for its fishing lakes. I'm not a fishist. Right, have we got a platform? No is the answer. So we've had one working platform so far. And that was the one built by the army. Ladies and gentlemen, please mind the gap between the train and the platform. And please do not leave bags unattended. Thank you. Bing bong. Right, thank you for the follow, Matty. Um, Matu. So, New Hive is uh, next. Oh, I got a timeless penalty of minus 2,120 then. Right, 
off to New Hythe, 0 0.92 of a mile away. So yes, unless I get done what I want to get done tomorrow, um, my next dream for me will be tomorrow night. Um, if I get done what I want to get done, I may stream tomorrow afternoon, depending on what time I have. Um, and then uh, there will be nothing for me then until Wednesday. There will be no Sunday stream this week. And then back on Wednesday, which is why I wanted to stream uh, a couple of times tonight and not just do tourist bus. The Waitrose Depot is at New Hive. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got the big um, little distribution centre here and the B&Q distribution centre and Iceland distribution centre. So a bit of an industry here. Right, here we come to a new hive. New hive is both a social network and a creation engine for web 2. Point, not you've done the wrong thing there. Uh, it is a web platform encourages you to develop their own creative content. Has been no, it's not. You put new. It's hive. H y t h e, not h i v e. Yeah, it's a tour guide, Liam. Although, in theory, you know, you could have researched the whole route before, you know, a proper tour, yeah, tour guide. Would at least know the journey they're doing. Right, here we are in New Hyde then. You're trying, Liam. It's it, There's some effort going in there or something going in there. Uh, right, next is... I can't read that. Why have they got this text such an awful colour? Shed... Snodland. Minus 2,272 points. We're doing well. Next, we do open up bus tours of Swindon. No, because there's a bridge um, in Swindon where there used to be an open top bus that used to go around on summer holidays. It used to do a circular tour around Swindon, which we used to get a lot as kids. And there's some low bridges that the bus goes under that um, if Liam was stood up, well, he'd decapitate himself. New Hythe is definitely a place. Where's next? I just said Snodland. Or Snodland. In 1.16 miles. It's not. I've searched for it. New Hythe Railway Station is on the Medway Valley Line in Kent, England, serving a village of New Hythe. It's 38 miles, three chains down the line from London Charing Cross. I just typed New Hythe in and Wikipedia came up with it. <laughs> that was on my phone. Uh, here's a roundabout and there's a football stadium. Job done. Well, that's the tour of Swindon. No, there's the old railway works. Uh, Snodland is a small town on the River Medway, located between Rochester and Maidstone in the English county of Kent. It's about 27 miles from central London and at the 2011 census had a population of 10,211 people. Snodland is a place. 
and here's Steve's yacht on the, in the embankment. I've actually been watching the last couple of nights on uh, YouTube. I've ended up watching a guy that does tours of um, luxury yachts. God, it's been interesting. There's a place that sells paint. Yeah, I used to work there. <laughs> There's several places that sell paint. Is it New Hythe? No, Hythe. H-Y-T-H-E. Right, have we got a platform this time? Sort of. Platform's a bit like Liam. It's not quite all there. Ladies and gentlemen, mind the gap between the train and the platform. The uh, first step is a bit of a doozy. Welcome to Snodland. Uh, New Hyde, a bit late now. New Hyde's a village in Mid Kent, England, on the banks of the River Medway. They're all on the banks of Mid Redway, River Med. There we go. Uh, approximately five miles northwest of the county town of Maidstone. It derives its name from the old English word Hyde, meaning haven or landing place. Because a hive in um, on the Isle of Wight, I think, isn't there? Oh, minus three thousand three hundred seventy-eight points for that one. Right, hailing is next. Oh God, what's he going to find out now? It'd be some sort of weather report. Hailing platform one. Right, three stops to go. And I can go and lie down in the darkened room. Because by the time I'm done with this, I'd have been streaming for three hours on and off. Right, accelerate slowly our way towards uh, hailing. So yes, we'll finish this journey and then end it there for tonight. Uh, so I'm not making any promises, but if I uh, do get time tomorrow afternoon, uh, I may stream something. But we'll certainly be back um, tomorrow night at 6.30 for uh, our normal Saturday night trucking and tunes. And then maybe a bit of a late night flight as well after that because we won't be flying on Sunday uh, so maybe some some late night flying around the UK uh, it'd be quite nice uh, tomorrow night uh, hailing isn't a place either there's only hailing island well type hailing Kent he's not very good as a tour guide is he Omsi at midnight no I'm actually, when I finish the stream, going to annoy some people in uh, Discord. So I feel quite... Uh, got a good mood this evening, so I may linger around for a chat. Into hailing, we come. The tour guide will probably give us. Oh, we go. No, that's hailing Ireland, not hailing. Ah, oh, for God's sake, he's not very good, is he? Ladies and gentlemen, we currently have a position available for tour guide. If uh, anyone would like to apply for the position, please send your information to Liam is rubbish at hotmail.co.uk. You're looking forward to the company update. Well, yeah, I did plan on doing it. I might just do a little video on it. I might actually add it to Monday's Omze video or something. There we go. 
go into healing. Healing. I'm trying to type on my phone, Kent. Uh, Hailing is a village on the North Downs in the northern part of Kent, England, covering 7.1 square kilometres of land. Consisting of Lower Hailing, Upper Hailing and North Hailing, it is scattered over some three miles along the River Medway, parallel to the Pilgrim's Way, which runs through Kent. There we go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, do not get out of here, it's fake. Don't get out, the place doesn't exist. Right, Cuxton is next why is it with these place names down in kent i know in uh, in kent there's a place called ham and down the road there's a place called sandwich which is flipping awesome and then you've got deal it's like wow right so on to cuxton we come you gotta be careful with that one Right. So Cuxton in 1.6 miles, and then we're on to uh, Strood, which is our final stop. Ladies and gentlemen, the next stop is going to be Cuxton. Uh, there's going to be no platform because they're all uh, they've all been stolen. Uh, so please mind the gap between the train and what should be the platform. Thank you. Bing bong. How do we switch on the screen? C-U-X. Charlie Uniform X-Ray. X-Ray. Uh, Tanga Oscar November. Right, Cuxton is now going to try and research for. Uh, we're going to get information on uh, Buxton uh, Pure Spring Water. It's quite nice with the uh, rivers. It's quite a nice bit of wide river over there on the left hand side. Cuxton is a town in the Unitary Authority of Medway in South East England. It was, until 1998, part of Kent, and it still was ceremonially associated via the Lutenancies Act. It lies on the left bank of the River Medway in the North Downs. So in 1998 it left Kent. What, have an argument or something? Did it storm out? Slam a door? That's it. I'm off. I'm done. I'm not part of you anymore. We're over. And by the way, half the record collection is mine. They had a divorce, yeah. Cucks it. Oh, very good. <laughs> that was the great debate, was it? Cucks it of 1998. Let me go, if you are watching and want to sit, uh, have an interaction with more of this complete and utter madness, uh, there's a link to the Discord server where the madness continues when I'm not streaming. All right, into Cuxton we come slowly. And what are we now? We were due in at 9.51. It's uh, currently 10 o'clock. We're nine minutes late. No wonder it keeps penalising me. I don't care. I've been enjoying it. We've still got one stop to go. I was thinking it was only going to be about an hour's stream, which would have been fine. I want to get up early in the morning as well. Okay. Um, Cuxton has a weird platform. Looks like two stuck together. I checked it on Google Maps and it's really like that.
we can't see anything here now. He hasn't got a platform. Yeah, cheers, Chaos. Take it easy. Catch you for some trucking. You'll have to let me know when you're doing a train sim video, Steve. Tell me the route and I'll find some info. So, well, this was going to be tomorrow afternoon's stream. Uh, I'll see how early I get up in the morning and uh, how long it takes me to get done what i got to get done. And I may stream tomorrow afternoon. Time in this penalty, minus 8,456. Wow, we're on a score of minus 22,215. I carumba. That's a lot of, uh, a lot of minus. Do another tomorrow. I'll, I'll see. Seriously, have I got a lot, a lot I want to achieve tomorrow. Um, and in order to do it all, I need to get up about 6 a.m. Right, so Strood is our final stop of the journey and the uh, the final stop of the stream slash uh, YouTube video if you're watching this on the YouTube. If you are and you want to see more of this uh, drivel, um, then do, do hit subscribe. Uh, don't forget to follow Twitch as well. Um, Twitch.tv forward slash Steve Chess. So the same as the YouTube, uh, but with an underscore at the end of the Steve Chess because I couldn't get you know stay up all night streaming i did say that i will be doing some longer streams um not this evening but uh, i will be doing some longer streams uh i've got some stuff i need to be sorting out over the next few weeks um but then yeah i will try and get myself into a schedule um so that on a saturday i can do some longer streaming do not change my Twitch name, Steve. You didn't tell me how I could. You messaged me and said you can change your Twitch name. But I don't know if it affects affect anybody that's following me on Twitch if I just change it. Will, will theirs just carry on? I don't know these things. Strood was uh, incepted as a manor of the chap chapelry of Frinsbury into gaining its own parish status in 1193. Today, Frinsbury is effectively in all but a few associations, as in the Church of England, the northern part of Strood. That was a challenge. Looks like your score on a German route. Yeah, I really want to do some more in um, at CSX Heavy Hall. I do like doing some of the long, heavy um, American stuff. But my dream is to do um, London to Scotland. When you get time then, Larwa, uh, message me with how I can do it, if you would, please. Uh, right, so into Strood we come. Our final stop of the journey. That's quite built up here. Another place I've never heard of. I thought the only Strood was in Scotland. What are my thoughts on Train Sim World 2020? Um, I don't know. Train Sim World, although is good, I still don't think it's as good as this. And I just, why would they need to revamp something after two years? I just think they're trying it because it is, I don't think it's been the success that they thought it was, hoped it was going to be. So they're trying a revamp. I, I love the idea of Train Sim World and it looks great, um, but it's just still not as good as this. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, oh, hang on. Oh, shit, I'm speeding it out. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you have had a pleasant journey travelling with us today. Please remember to fill out your next of kin card 
uh, with your details so that we can do some stuff with them and buy stuff on your credit card without your knowing. We're not supposed to tell him that, Liam. Also, when leaving the train, please remember to tip the tour guide for his excellent work on his service today and mind the gap between the train and the platform. Yet, Liam, we're not supposed to tell them we're doing stuff with a credit card. We're just keeping it. Keeping the details safe for them. And then using their Snapchat account to message from the Bahamas. Right, it we come to Shrewd then. So our final stop of the evening with no platforms. Oh, that's a good point, actually. They won't know, anyway. Shh. Well, that's... Keeping the details safe when they travel on Sims and stuff coach service. Exactly. So that we've got their details ready for the next journey. Whether it by train, plane, bus or truck, we've got you covered. Right. Let's let them off. Oh, and don't forget, uh, with Sims and Stuff Life Insurance, we'll still be there when you're not. There we go, just shouted out down a platform at them. Right, minus 22,228 points. <laughs> I can rumba. That's a lot of minus. Nicely done, scenario complete. Really? Really game. <laughs> Score, zero. Why didn't it see? Why can't it show that it's a minus 22,228? That's pretty disgraceful, isn't it? And uh, even Lava hasn't done that one. So there we go then. I'm going to end that there. Um, pretty much three hours of... Uh, being sat here streaming for me this evening uh if you're watching this on youtube yeah i did a couple of different um different games um so i'm going to end that there i may be back saturday afternoon uh for something it depends on what time i get um uh, but certainly back at 6 30 p.m uh saturday night for the most fun night of the week for me uh saturday night trucking and tunes a bit of ets2 multiplayer and some uh some tunes going on and um and then we'll be back again till wednesday so uh, really looking forward to tomorrow night. Thanks to everybody for following, uh, for putting up with the uh, issues we've had on the Twitch stream this evening. Uh, and if you're watching us on, on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. Please do check out the Discord server as well. Uh, there are an awesome bunch of people in Discord where the chat will continue um, throughout the days and evenings and uh, all sorts of hours. Uh, lots of stuff going on in there. So I'm going to go um, and we'll catch you uh, tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your evening.